Donald O'Connor, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Whether you have a cherished memory associated with him or a personal story of how he inspired or impacted your life, his influence is undeniable. We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unfold many funny, shocking, and sad facts about him. Your stories and memories are valuable, and we'd love to hear them. In the golden age of Hollywood, one actor stands out for his unmatched influence on the world of entertainment, Donald O'Connor. With a natural talent for entertaining, he effortlessly combined singing, dancing, and acting, creating a unique presence that held audiences spellbound. His charm wasn't just in his nimble feet or perfect comic timing. It was in the way he effortlessly brought characters to life, making them relatable and unforgettable. What makes O'Connor truly worth celebrating is his lasting impact on comedy and entertainment. He wasn't just a performer, he was a trailblazer who changed the art of making people laugh. His significance lies in his ability to turn ordinary moments into extraordinary ones. In an era when Hollywood thrived on glamour and sophistication, O'Connor brought a refreshing authenticity, endearing himself to audiences worldwide. O'Connor's influence isn't confined to a specific time, it's a timeless reminder of the power of genuine talent and the ability to connect with people on a profound level. As we explore O'Connor's career, we'll uncover the layers of his artistry that made him a beloved figure. From memorable dance routines to comedic masterpieces, each aspect of his work contributes to a rich history of entertainment. Join us on a journey through the world of Donald O'Connor, a man who not only left a lasting impression on classic Hollywood, but also left an everlasting mark on the hearts of those who experienced the magic of his performances. Stay tuned for more revelations about this legendary actor, a man whose laughter echoes through time, reminding us that the joy he brought to the screen is as relevant today as it was back then. In 2004, he earned a spot in the International Tap Dance Hall of Fame, recognizing his expertise in dance. Raised in a vaudeville family, his roots were deeply tied to the world of performance. His father, John Edward Chuck O'Connor, displayed acrobatics with Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus, while his mother, Effie, contributed to the family's income as a circus bareback rider and dancer. Growing up in a family of seven, he faced challenges, experiencing the loss of three siblings in infancy. Despite these hardships, Effie resiliently guided the family through tough times, even after her husband's death in 1941. Through her perseverance and with support from extended family, she kept the O'Connor family connected and involved in show business. A noteworthy story from his early years involves his dance partner, Beverly Yissar. They shared the stage when she was just five or six and he was 10 or 11, displaying youthful enthusiasm for performance that later defined his career. His upbringing in the dynamic world of vaudeville, marked by his mother's resilience and early dance experiences, laid the foundation for a noteworthy career. Join us as we delve deeper into the layers of his journey, exploring the facets that shaped him into a celebrated figure in classic Hollywood. Born into a circus family, Donald O'Connor spent his early years on the road. His journey in the entertainment world began at 11 when he made his film debut, showcasing talent that would leave a lasting mark on classic Hollywood. In 1953, he received the Sylvania Award for his television work, proving his skill and recognition within the industry. Seamlessly blending singing, dancing, and acting, he became a standout figure in the golden age of Hollywood. In 1998, O'Connor took on a new venture, headlining the fabulous Palm Springs Follies, a review featuring performers over 54. Despite facing a serious illness briefly halting his performances, he closed out the season, wowing audiences with his dance and song. Adding another achievement, O'Connor earned a spot in the International Tap Dance Hall of Fame in 2004, recognizing his expertise in dance. Raised in a vaudeville family, his roots connected him to the world of performance, shaped by his father's acrobatics and his mother's roles as a circus bareback rider and dancer. Growing up in a family of seven, O'Connor faced challenges, including the loss of three siblings in infancy. Despite hardships, his mother's resilience and support from extended family kept the O'Connor family connected to show business. A notable story from his early years involves his dance partner, Beverly Yissar. They shared the stage when she was just five or six and he was 10 or 11, displaying youthful enthusiasm for performance that later defined his career. 
Join us as we delve deeper into the layers of O'Connor's journey, exploring the facets that shaped him into a celebrated figure in classic Hollywood. His upbringing in the dynamic world of vaudeville, marked by his mother's resilience and early dance experiences, laid the foundation for a noteworthy career. Donald O'Connor's biography in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives offers valuable insights into his life. Spanning pages 403-405 of Volume 7, this source provides a detailed account of his journey in the world of entertainment. It sheds light on his significant role in classic Hollywood. In 1954, he was set to co-star with Bing Crosby in the film White Christmas. However, a bout of pneumonia led to his replacement by Danny Kaye, marking a crucial moment in his career and the history of the movie. In 1994, O'Connor and his wife, Gloria Noble, faced a life-threatening encounter during an earthquake. Their house slid off its foundation, but luckily, a fortuitous wedge against a large tree prevented a potential disaster, saving them from crashing into a canyon. These incidents offer glimpses into the personal and professional challenges he faced throughout his life, emphasizing the unpredictable nature of his journey and the resilience he displayed in the face of adversity. Join us as we continue to unravel the layers of Donald O'Connor's life, exploring the highs and lows that shaped this legendary figure in classic Hollywood. In 2003, despite facing health challenges, Donald O'Connor demonstrated his commitment to his craft. Notably, he appeared at the Roger Ebert Overlooked Film Festival and the opening of the Judy Garland Museum. This show with O'Connor's dedication to the world of entertainment. Actress Bonnie Franklin found a mentor in him, benefiting from his industry experience. O'Connor's role as an acting mentor highlights his willingness to share knowledge and contribute to the growth of fellow performers. Judy Garland, a cherished childhood acquaintance, held a special place in his life. Their enduring friendship exemplifies the genuine connections formed in classic Hollywood. O'Connor's relationships within the industry extended beyond professional collaborations, emphasizing the importance of camaraderie in his journey. These personal and professional connections provide a deeper understanding of his character and the influence he had on those around him. As we continue to explore the layers of his life, these relationships contribute to the mosaic of experiences that define this figure in classic Hollywood. Donald O'Connor, a devoted family man, had four children, Donna, Alicia, Donald Frederick, and Kevin. Additionally, he played the role of an uncle to Patsy O'Connor. A notable chapter in his film career unfolded during the Make M Laugh sequence in Singin' in the Rain, where he needed three days of bed rest due to the physical demands of the performance. His cinematic journey began at 12 in Melody for Two, a film featuring his two brothers, Jack and Billy. Tragically, Billy succumbed to scarlet fever a year or two later. This early exposure to the world of entertainment laid the foundation for O'Connor's future in the limelight. Donald O'Connor's family roots in vaudeville were crucial to his upbringing. His father, John Edward Chuck O'Connor, displayed acrobatics with Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. His mother, Effie, contributed to the family's income as a circus bareback rider and dancer. Growing up in a family of seven, O'Connor faced challenges, including the loss of three siblings in infancy. Despite hardships, Effie's resilience and support from extended family kept the O'Connor clan connected to show business. A noteworthy anecdote from his early years involves his dance partner, Beverly Yissar, with whom he shared the stage at a young age. This dynamic duo displayed youthful enthusiasm for performance, foreshadowing O'Connor's future as a celebrated figure in classic Hollywood. In 2004, recognition of his expertise in dance led to O'Connor earning a spot in the International Tap Dance Hall of Fame. His commitment to performance continued even in the face of health challenges as seen in appearances at the Roger Ebert Overlooked Film Festival and the opening of the Judy Garland Museum in 23. His role as an acting mentor to Bonnie Franklin showcased his dedication to sharing knowledge within the industry. Donald O'Connor's life was marked by personal and professional challenges, such as the pneumonia-induced replacement in White Christmas and a life-threatening encounter during an earthquake in 1994. These incidents highlight the unpredictable nature of his journey and the resilience he displayed throughout. As we continue to unravel the layers of his life, we gain deeper insights into the man behind the performances, exploring the highs and lows that shaped this legendary figure in classic Hollywood.